Hi guys. Uh, it is March 5, 2019. I want to thank subscribers for sending along some information on this video that I posted when February 12th mainstream media hits new low re-vaccines. Let's just listen to a few minutes or actually just like half a minute of this. Um, remember this kid? In the Pacific Northwest, we've been reporting on a measles outbreak after a number of parents say they will not vaccinate their kids. It is a topic of discussion across the country. And tonight, Dr. Tara Narula tells us about one Ohio teenager who has defied his mother's wishes. For most of his life, Ethan Lindenberger thought it was normal for most kids not to get immunized. But about two years ago, he began to see how the posts about vaccines his own mother was sharing on social media were dangerous. You have something like measles, which is a preventable disease that we can vaccinate against, that I and many people believe is coming back in, in November, Lindenberger asked strangers on Reddit, an online message board, where he could go to get up to date with his shots. My parents are kind of stupid, he wrote. God knows how I'm still alive. Jesus, okay. Well, if anyone, you know, that is in their right mind cannot see something very bizarre going on in our country with this vaccine agenda, uh, that, you know, mainstream media is forever reporting on how people on the internet, those anti-vaxxers, are posting uh, information that is misinformation um, and not uh, based in science. Okay, well, there's... <laughs> I, I can't do it anymore. I just can't. There's a tremendous amount of science, tremendous amount of studies that have shown that these vaccines are dangerous. Okay, well, this kid, listen to this. Now, I didn't even know these reporters or people who work for news outlets come on Facebook and talk about what they're going to be reporting that night. Oh, what, you know, it's like if we could just maybe stop promoting ourselves and promoting our product and spend that time trying to help people who are suffering and struggling in this country. Perhaps, no, I've got to promote me, and I'm going to promote what we're going to be showing you tonight, and ugh, I can't stand it. But see if you can catch the very obvious lies coming out of this woman's mouth, and wow, then we have so many Americans who have just no moral compass. They can lie through their teeth to get a paycheck. In De Piazza, uh, we are here in the Fox 8 newsroom this morning working on some stories for you, give you just some uh, a little update on what you'll be seeing coming up at 8 o'clock on Fox 8 News in the morning. There is a teenager from Norwalk. He's 18. His name is Ethan Lindenberger. You may have heard about him. We've done a few stories. This is him here. Um, he grew up in a household that he's kind of calling anti-vaccine. Basically, his parents did not uh, believe in or they be believe in vaccinating their kids unless they say absolutely necessary. Then he turned 18 and kind of did some of his own real research and realized, hey, I actually do think I should get my uh, vaccinations and went against his mom and his parents wishes and went ahead and did that. So he posted about his experience on Reddit. Um, this is the feed that kind of came from that. You can see it went, uh, got quite a bit of attention about, you know, from people who talk about, well, you should get vaccines or you should not. And of course, there's a lot of um, data out there that proves that vaccines do not cause autism or... Did you catch that? Did you catch that? A lie. An abject lie. Abject lie. Do not um, have any negative effects. And How could you possibly say that when we have a vaccine court that has doled out, I don't know, close to $4 billion for those who have been vaccine injured? How could you possibly say that? And this is our news. Okay. Yeah, you know, I get really upset. Lie? Oh, it, it doesn't, 
Yeah. I can't not. I, these lies are killing us. This woman, through her friggin' lie, is actually a murderer. She is, that's how far I'm going. Lying is murder. It's killing people. It's dangerous. And this woman is a danger to the public. Oh, she's a mainstream media reporter, I guess. She's a danger to the public. And there are countless studies on vaccines showing how many negative effects they have. And this woman could actually say, oh, no negative effects. Doesn't it make you angry? It, oh. <laughs> And that's why doctors and pediatricians encourage everyone to get them. That's why they encourage everyone to get them. Can you not hear the agenda, people? My God, that they have to do away with the what they have termed the anti-vaxxer. Those people who have actually done the research, collected all the facts and evidence, gone through those studies to show, oh my God, well... These ingredients, uh, aluminum, mercury, formaldehyde, um, and an awful lot of other toxic ingredients. Uh, yeah, they're safe. Oh, God. So uh, his mother, though, unhappy that he has gone against her. And then after Fox 8 did a story recently and his whole story about getting vaccinated at 18, caught on nationally, senators in D.C. reached out to him and said, hey, we would like for you to come talk to us for this panel we are having. This is the site. They're actually going to have a live video of the hearing if you go on the Health U.S. Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions website. It's coming up at 10 a.m. this morning in D.C. And here is Ethan. You can see him on the list right there. Um, he's going to be speaking along with some of these doctors and scientists from departments of health, from hospitals, um, experts in uh, pediatrics and immune deficiencies. You can see here he'll be talking with all of them to the senators at 10 this morning. Um, they asked him to come and just share his experience. So take a listen now to how that all how his mom reacted he doesn't know anything about vaccines other than what he has found on the internet he has not been schooled he has not been educated why is he talking on this panel tomorrow why her opinions are uh, mostly not backed by science so very largely um uh, illogical or, or, or rooted in misinformation um i've done so in the most respectful manner i can yeah. So okay. that's his mom, You're Jill. And Her opinions are not logical. Um, they're not based in science. And uh, I, at 18 years old, I am so much smarter than my mother. And uh, I have now all of the right information. My mother has all the wrong information. Uh, she got it on the internet, but you did too. Um, and now you're going to be speaking at the hearing that is probably ongoing right now as I speak this little oh well I'm, I don't want to curse no I don't want to curse let me not curse uh, this little arrogant I'll leave it at that is speaking at a congressional hearing this is now the poster boy for vaccines like David Hogg was the poster boy for the gun control agenda. Yes. Now we've got this kid as the poster boy for vaccines. Vaccine agenda. Don't listen to your parents, teenagers. Get your vaccine. Get loaded up with all of that poison. Play Russian roulette and see if you will be one of those who becomes autistic after getting vaccinated, or you get some autoimmune disease, neurological disorder, uh, Gillian Barre, um, or die. How about die? Yeah, especially from the um, Merck's uh, Gardasil, the HPV vaccine. This is so outrageous. 
and this woman, oh, wow, man. Yeah, she's a danger to the public. Okay, so this video that I posted last night, watch this and tell me if the United States is not a police state. Got a lot of comments from a lot of people. Um, it's interesting to read the comments after you post a video because you really get to see that we're so not on the same page and one person sees something and the other person sees the opposite and a lot of people um, were outraged and um, comment and I when I've posted similar videos you know about kids being taken away from uh, their parents by CPS in this case it's Arizona it's uh, DCS Department of Child Safety I inevitably get other parents and I did under this video my kids my three kids were taken away and then the cops work with CPS to make their lies consistent okay um, a lot of other people saw this as fake news and boy a lot of people wrote that uh, the way they wrote it it they know the truth definitive absolutely fake 100% it's a lie don't understand why people aren't noticing uh, the damn doctor would never have called they have no time no tears parents laughing um, I would be crying inconsolably it's a psyop cops came at 1 a.m. parents not very upset way too casual um, bet it was a foreign doctor uh, playing not good it's obvious mother reading script color orange number three wow okay um, when I read comments like that it does um, it I question my own perception so I go back and watch the video to see if maybe I missed something the first time viewing it. I don't feel I missed anything in this. Now, you know, if if uh, if this happened to me, and I I would absolutely call the news, hoping that they would bring attention to my experience having uh, DCS come and take my children. Um, I also, knowing who I am, when I have had experiences that have left me shocked, panicked, desperate, and in a whole lot of fear over well, for me, it was my dogs when they would run away and they hadn't come back for a long time. I have a sick feeling, but I can't cry. I don't cry. There's an awful lot of people who go through these experiences who, because of the initial shock and the fear, and they're like, they're in a state of, um, a panic that doesn't allow them to even calm down enough to cry. A lot of people in the midst of the experience do not cry. A whole lot of crying comes afterwards when the experience comes to some resolution. So the fact that these parents were not crying is not an indicator of anything. Uh, and I did read the comments and a whole lot of you are saying I would do this and therefore because they didn't it's fake well please take a look at that thinking what you're doing is well that's clearly narcissistic my experience is everybody's experience and if it goes against my experience then it's not real um, that causes an awful lot of problems cause a lot of problems in personal relationships as well. Um, when you do that, 
you are annihilating the other people claiming they're not like you, then they're not telling the truth. And so that, whether people cry, look, we have watched, you know, a lot of uh, these psyops, these uh, fake shootings. We've seen parents, and I've posted on this, you know, these parents who, after these mass shootings, they've had their children gunned down dead, and not 24 hours later, they're in front of the camera smiling and forgiving, forgiving the murderer of their child. Um, when we see things that really go against all, um, that's, that's so far from the collective human experience that that really pushes you back and say, okay, <laughs> this is this is so, you know, not right. You know, if it was right, you would think, okay, the parent's happy. The child's gone. Um, unfortunately, we do have parents like that too. But, um, you know, I didn't see any of this. And, you know, to, to actually think that a doctor wouldn't call, they're mandated reporters. There's an awful lot of mandators, man dated reporters out there, uh, whether they're therapists or doctors or uh, there's a whole list of them. Uh, things will happen and they'll see something and many will call for fear that something might happen and then that will come back to haunt them for not calling. Um, and there's a lot of, look, doctors, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of people out there who, well, because somebody didn't follow my order, I'm going to get them. You know, we've got a lot of sick people. It doesn't matter, you know, what age they are, what profession, or if they're not even a professional, it doesn't matter. We've got a lot of people out there who do things, you know, purposely to screw up other people. Um, we have, you know, doctors who work with CPS and uh, we've got a whole lot of corruption. Yes, a doctor would do this. You know, to think that they just wouldn't and therefore it's fake. What kind of thinking is that? And clearly you're not, you know, informed about what's been happening in this country for many, many years. Um, and then I got a comment from someone who knows the mother and underneath the comment, and I don't want to show you the comments because, you know, I'm not, it's not about, you know, shaming one individual or, you know, my, because I do get responses from people when I post videos showing the comments and uh, they get upset, you know, because they feel that I'm shaming them. I'm not shaming anybody. I'm just pointing out, you know, that we really do need to reevaluate how we think. You know, there were people who were writing uh, these long comments about how, you know, this was not real. And they were basing their argument on their own speculative facts that, you know, their presumptions. Um, we don't know. We do not know what took place. In fact, you know, this reporter says, you know, something about 105 well, I'll show you how it wasn't 105, yet, but unfortunately, now, um, trust has been so thoroughly broken, we've got Americans up the wazoo who lie and don't understand their own self, don't understand how they think. They make these presumptions, they spit them out as fact, and that causes a lot of problems, but it one big problem is it chips away at trust, trips... It just, you know, I love the comments where, you know, people were saying, well, if it's real, those kids were traumatized. If not, you know, then this is set up, you know, uh, because of this reporter mentioning vaccines. These kids were not vaccinated. Okay, well, the story had nothing to do with vaccines. But, yeah, 
We've got an agenda. That reporter. Get it in. Get it in. Those three kids were not vaccinated. Um, that I could see injecting fear into parents thinking, well, I haven't vaccinated my kids and I've, if I bring them to the doctor when they're sick, is the doctor going to call CPS on me or C uh, DCS in Arizona? Um, and then they run out and get their kids vaccinated. Yeah. It's unfortunate that not a lot of people have a really strong moral compass in our society. And they are so easily swayed, you know, by even just watching a mainstream media um, news show. And they're not understanding, you know, that, yeah, even in a real experience, boom, the propaganda comes out, you know. So um, I think I said in this video, um, if this is not real, it still, we need to take a look at this and, you know, what, what's the reason for all of this fake stuff. But I am going with it is real. We are, you know, this is the cyber world. My God, we, we, we're living a psyop. We are a psyop. That, that's what we are, a, just a psyop here. You know, we sigh up one another with the lies that we tell in our own personal relationships, uh, the gaslighting, manipulating that we do in our own personal relationships. And collectively, we have to deal with all of the psyops that are taking place, mainstream media reporting, uh, propaganda, and all of the false flag attacks, all of it. So, yeah, I understand that it's a difficult time. We have to really sharpen our cognitive abilities to really assess as best we can uh, what is happening and um, and then admit that we don't know. We do not know because we're not that reporter. We're not the parents. We're not in Chandler, Arizona. We're not, we're not, we're not. And unfortunately now, because I've been lied to so much, and I know the cyber world, um, I'll get comments from people who say, I know them, and I am going with, yes, this person who left me the comment and left me the link to her Facebook page, I take at face value what Tina is saying here, that she does know the mom, the mom uh, has been involved with other families who have lost their children, um, is, uh, the medical kidnap page or site that I've reported, you know, uh, that I've, um, posted videos on. This is happening. You know, so many people also left comments saying, um, it's all fake. Uh, they're just doing this to inform Americans on what is about to come. Do you not realize that this is happening to so many families? Go to Medical Kidnap, that site, and you will see so many children are being stolen from Child Protective Services. Uh, that's the federal agency. And under that umbrella, you have all of the state agencies, like in Arizona, Department of Child Safety. They steal children and that you think because the cops busted down the door at 1 a.m. that that means it's fake? Have you not? Uh, well, please wake up. Smell the coffee, okay? Do some research and find out what the cops are doing to Americans. Um, so here Tina writes, if it were a medical emergency, and this is the woman who knows the mother, and uh, there's no reason for me to believe that Tina is some you know, liar out there. I don't. I believe her. Um, if it were a medical emergency, an ambulance would have been called. That is the bottom line. An ambulance wasn't called. So why are they taking all of the kids and just putting them in the cop car and bringing them to, you know, be uh, evaluated um, at the Department of Child Safety? Okay. If it was such an emergency, they would have brought that child. They would have called an emergency and that child would have been rushed to the hospital. 
None of that took place. I personally know the mom and was on the phone with her at the clinic and after she left. She took the temperature after she left and it was not 105 or near it. It was just under 103, 103. She had every right to follow her mother's intuition and take her child home to rest. This mother knows about medical medicalkidnap.com and has met other families that have been wrongfully targeted in Arizona. She had every right to take her child with a low-grade fever home to rest and not subject him to poking and prodding at a corrupted hospital that gets paid for refer referrals to DCS. You know, the corruption in this country is so... Oh, the stench of it. If you're not smelling it, then you need to um, think about, you know, you've got to realize this country is so thoroughly corrupt. We've got corrupt doctors, corrupt hospitals, corrupt CPS. They, are, you know, and could a doctor also get paid when that doctor calls CPS? Of course. Of course. That is the extent of the corruption and the evil and the, oh, morally superior Americans? No. Um, so she goes on to say, this is medical tyranny playing out before your eyes. Better stand up for this, mom, and your own rights before you have none left. Now DCS and the hospital will work on lies to try to keep the kids to cover their tracks. They make more money with kids in the system. She has it on recording. At time of the attack on her family, the fire department took her son's temperature and it was 100.7. They should have left right there. But after breaking down the door, it was time to cover their tracks instead, so they took all three kids. More money when kids are in the system. It's all corrupted. It happens all the time, usually at the hospital. Had it been a med medical emergency, the ambulance would have called, please use logic. Okay. Um, I asked Tina to leave me any information that she has that will update especially in regards to what's happening with the children. Um, so, you know, when, when you're going through something and you, you are like on local news and then you come across a video on the internet and then you read the comments you know, they're fake, they're actors, they're this, they're that. When it's clear that they're really, you've got to use your best judgment on this because it is not obvious and this woman does not seem to be acting. She just seems to be... Uh, and in fact, you know, as I was watching her um, speak, is um, dancing with his sisters and in his car seat, and I take his temperature, and his temperature was 102. So they went home. You know, I was looking very carefully at her eyes, at her affect, at her, you know, head going down, and she she does appear to be shocked to me. Um, almost as if she has to really work to get the words out. And I will tell you that, you know, just watching her, that I am, you know, we do use our own experience, you know, to uh, assess other experiences that we are witnessing. I'm not saying that we need to, you know, jump entirely outside of our experience. No. You know, we have a frame of reference and it doesn't have to be the exact experience. 
but we have our own frame of references that we do use to judge experiences that we are watching or witnessing or um, what we do need to be careful of is not annihilating that person because they are acting in a way that is beyond my experience so therefore what they're saying is not true they're lying and they're acting um, but just watching her affect that was what got me on my third watch of this to see that I I I feel that this woman is in shock um, so it's a very shocking experience and then you have people leaving the comment why didn't they open the door they should have just opened the door it was at 1 a.m. they could have been sleeping and did you hear the knock I mean it was not a real loud knock hi guys all right uh, Zona, Zona? Front door of this Chandler family's home. Earlier that day, the family doctor found my subscriber. He's sending this along to me. This is in Chandler, Arizona. Watch this. Security cameras recorded officers breaking down the front door of this Chandler family's home. Earlier that day, the family doctor found two-year-old Heber's temperature to be 105 and instructed his mother, Chandler police. After the family didn't answer... If, well, now I wake up all the time, but that 1 a.m., the lights are not on in the house. They're sleeping. So they don't hear the knock. I mean, how is it that somebody could say that it was their fault because they didn't answer the door? Ah, get me out of this world. Oh, okay. That's it. I'll link below to everything. Oh, by the way, uh, very quickly, single mother goes from traffic stop to bench warrant to jail over unpaid medical bill. It just isn't right. And a lot of people would say, fake. Well, um, then I guess you've had really good experiences and you've never come across anybody who has ever experienced anything like this. And then you think everything is fake and therefore our country is the same country that we've always had and they're just doing this to traumatize people. Well, if that's the case, man, we've got a really sick country if, <laughs> if they just keep, you know, saturating us with this kind of news. Bandit, wait one second. Wait one second, honey. Um, so, yeah, uh, she got pulled over by a police officer in Illinois. He informed her that she had failed to affix her 2019 sticker to her license plate. He, she apologized. He got the driver's license. She waited, waited, waited. A uh, second police car pulls up. Uh, she doesn't know what's going on. She has no felonies or anything on her record. Officer returned to her minivan and asked her to step out. Why? There was a warrant for her arrest. She had not paid an a, uh, ambulance bill. Um, but the arrest was for failure to show up um, at court, not for the failure to pay the ambulance bill. Um, so, single mother of three young children, um, this kind of, you know, this kind of stuff goes on all over our country. And one thing is that they do report real stories and the real story, there are, uh, there could be several different, you know, objectives. One objective is to traumatize people so badly that they never, ever um, miss paying a bill. But unfortunately, Americans now, this ambulance that she had to take, um, she had a mild heart attack. Ambulance cost over $3,000. One short ride, $3,000. So the cost of medical care is so um, exorbitant, it's like most people just can't pay. Uh, a lot of people can't pay to bring their child to a, a hospital. 
Um, so, you know, it's there's a lot of external obstacles put in people's way that we do, I think, need to give people the benefit of the doubt if we don't know for sure. And writing that kind of stuff is really pretty hurtful, you know, about how, you know, she wasn't crying and you know, she's an actor, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. To resolve all of this, I'm going to say it again because I, this is the crux here. This is the way to uh, health, a way to get our um, society, you know, back or create maybe for the first time a society that is sane, healthy, moral. We all have to stop lying. We all have to look at ourselves. We all have to really be careful in terms of what we say, what we do. Um, and that does require a lot of work on oneself to catch those presumptions before you spit them back out as fact. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Um, clearly, I'm not on social media to get an awful lot of people to like me. 